Hello, everybody, and good morning. And uh, hey, I just wanted to jump on here and say I was wrong. I I'm eating crow. You know, <laughs> I, I, well, let me put it bluntly, and then I'll explain everything. But the new the new system of punishing people who lose four or five games in a row is much much worse than the old system of just letting people do what they want. And I'll just tell you my reasons why. I don't need to get into a long discourse here. I think a lot of you realized I was probably wrong right off the bat. You know, I tend to be somebody... I, I got a little overexcited the other night. Um, you know, I was, I was... If you watched my stream, and we'll put the tag up here, and I'll put a link at the end. It's a lot... It, the stream is a lot of fun. I've got some tags in there where you can... T time tags in there where you can go watch timestamps. Boy, I'm, I'm, I'm just do I'm doing this before work, guys. I jumped on... This is so important for me to say... That, that I was wrong, that I'm just jumping on before work to record this and I'll release this afternoon. Um, the, the new matchmaking system is broken. So there are, there's a, at least one player on my Discord, I think there were a couple, who just had a bad day or a bad run and lost four or five in a row, and now they're locked out of gaining rewards in the game, as if they were somebody who was trophy dropping on purpose, which they aren't. They're just trying to play the game and have fun. So... You're, we actually have you, the devs. Hey devs, I hope you're listening. You, I know that I guess there's a rule that you don't want to reach out to anybody or talk to the community. I guess that either Playdemic or TT Games has decided they don't want their developers or marketing or whoever to talk to anybody who's making content for the game or the community because we've got a very dedicated community that really wants to participate and, and let you know their challenges and interests and and we don't seem to be getting any, we, we haven't heard from anybody. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear from you. My, my email address is over there, my Discord. I mean, it's just, it's all over the place. You can contact me. And, and we can have an open conversation. We can have a private conversation. You can tell me what I can share and can't. I, I'm, I, I, will, I will abide by your rules. It would just be really good to hear from somebody and be able to tell the community what's going on with the game. And, and I point exactly to that, to this, this recent update. You know, we're playing with this new system where... If you lose four or five games in a row, and we don't even know if that's it, right? We don't know what the system is. All we got was a message in game that said, you know, you can't, you you get, you got to stop dropping trophies or whatever. And I, it, I don't remember exactly what it said. We can take a look at it. I didn't, did it even say that? Um, so yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Say, hey, here's the new system. Here's what's going on. I didn't see any patch notes on the WB Games website. I looked for it. They weren't there. So there was just no, there's just no communication. So it leaves us in the dark, and then what we start finding out a couple of days later, and I, and by the way, on the stream I was really excited because I lost four or five games in a row, and I did that, by the way. Uh, Nooch, Nooch is too good. I mean, I, you know, you guys know, I never, ever, ever lose. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, I don't look at that. Don't look at that. Um, but it, it seemed that what I was doing on the stream was uh, some, some guys paid me some money to pay with some play with some garbage decks. I put them out there. I just kept losing. I kept losing. I couldn't win. I actually won one game during the whole time against a human. And then eventually, like, my trophies on the light side locked. It said, you can't gain additional rewards till you get back up to this trophy level, which when I had to win, like, a couple of games to get back there. And I got really excited. I'm like, whoa, now we can stop all the people that are dropping on purpose just to gain trophies and, and crushing crushing earlier players or noobs, whatever. Because I, I, I'm not a huge fan of that. I know that some of you guys, that's how you live. And, and you know, it's a, it's a free country. It's a free game. Well, I, mean, you, I hope you're living in a free country. So you're free to do what you want. Um, but instead of disincent... So, so the idea for the devs, I guess, was to disincentivize people to drop trophies. What has instead happened is you're disincentivizing people who lose four or five games in a row because they're having a bad day or they're, they want to try something new, God forbid. You know, they, they want to play with something that's not the, the meta decks and they lose a bunch of games in a row, and then they're locked out of rewards. And so you're disincentivizing uh, people from trying new things, you know, from trying non-meta stuff. You're disincentivizing people who are learning the game and end up losing and getting locked out. Uh, you know, well, primarily those two things. And and I got to tell you, I, I'm happy about the player base. I think we were like 140,000 people had downloaded, and we're getting about 20,000 people playing a week, but... That's not enough. We need a lot more people playing this game. And if you're going to make people get penalized because they had a bad day, you know, you you just you just can't do that. If you're gonna, if you really want to build, if you really want to build, you have, it needs to be built around incentives. Give us incentives 
for climbing higher and higher. You know, I, I realize this is built by, by Playdemic, which is Golf Clash, and this the league system is built like, like Golf Clash. I play both that and I play Clash Royale. But in Clash Royale, you actually, you're incented to stay up in the higher ranks. You know, you climb up through a seasonal reward, so you start like a bronze, then a silver, then a gold, and this isn't the names, but as you climb, you get access to a new reward, but if you drop down, you lose access to the next reward above that, and you keep climbing. It's like the seasonal leaderboard, but um, it's it's a little bit more. You have to climb up those league. You have, kind of, you have to climb up those leagues in the seasonal leaderboard, and that's how you, you're incented to not be dropping trophies. Not to mention, it's a much larger player base, which helps. You know, we need a larger player base. Which guys, if you're listening, you you got to release some champions, man. You got to release some some characters that when people look in arcade and they look at Lego Star Wars battles, they see. Palpatine and Anakin and the people that have downloaded the game already go man I gotta get in there and play with those guys and you gotta release them where we can unlock them right away put them in events so we can unlock them you've got a free to play game now this is not a pay to play game you can't throw stuff out there and say pay me 5,000 crystals you know pay 20 bucks for 5,000 crystals then you can unlock this new character you gotta release it in the events make it a playable thing make make the game focused around how the new event the new um, characters, the new cards come out to get people playing the game. So anyway, that's all I got to say. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please, devs, if you are listening, put it back to what it was. Just put it back to what it was and find a different fix. Um, you know, maybe you can punish people. I I'll tell you something that happens all the time. If you go into a game and the game starts and you force quit, it has no impact on anything you do. It doesn't register a thing. So move your move your registration of a player earlier in the process or something. Um, maybe if you really want to disincentivize dropping, you just you, you punish people for not playing a unit or not playing more than five units for five games in a row. Not for playing their hardest and losing. If somebody's playing their hardest and losing, they're playing units the whole time. That person should not be punished. If somebody for three minutes of their life is dropping minox and dropping porgs and dropping tanks and whatever. And and they just lose because they because just because they lost they shouldn't be they should not be punished for doing that, so you need to look at a different way of doing it or just stop doing it and start marketing the game well enough to get a bunch of more people playing and then you'll have if, with more people playing more people climbing leaderboards there's less incentive to drop trophies, some people just want to do it and by the way uh, another note there are people at the top of leaderboards right now, um, we got a player in my Discord who's who's like at, over he's like at five thousand trophies. At the top of his leaderboard, the guy has 3,000 trophies just because he drops two and wins one, drops two and wins one, or whatever he's doing. Drop one, win one, drop one, win one. He never climbs after that. So you can you can still do it. This is not the uh, the fix that I was so excited about on night one. has not worked. It's worse than the old system. Please change it back. Put it back to what it was. Find new ways to incent people to stay higher. Um, I think that's a better solution than disincentivizing people. Um, and, and for, you know, Anyway, that's I, I think I think we get it. You got what to say. I would love to hear from from our developers. Um, just reach out. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about the future of the game because we're really excited. This community is really engaged and really excited. Um, I can't believe the amount of people that come on my streams when I'm doing it and and quite bluntly uh, um, are willing to spend money on my stream just to watch me play this game. So you got a really dedicated player base. Let's uh, let's give us back something and give us some incentives to keep playing. So that's it. I apologize for being wrong. It won't be the won't be the last time. I'll be wrong again. I promise. <laughs> Always remember, Nooch too good.